five of the eight fixtures in the fourth round of the Capital One Cup happening tonight. There they all are, some intriguing clashes, not least that North East Derby. Sunderland taking on Middlesbrough. Palo de Canio's League One side going to Aston Villa as well. Let's join our commentators for the first half here at the Majeski Stadium. Don Goodman, who's sitting alongside Rob Hawthorne. So it's the only All-Premier League clash of the evening. And it is a much-changed Arsenal team coming out, as is the regular habit in this competition. But there is still some experience within that side, as we see Theo Walcott bringing up the rear and Johan Juru leading out the team, the likes of Marouane, Shamak and Laurent Koscielny also in that Arsenal 11 this evening. So not entirely reliant on youth and Reading supporters coming here in high hopes that this season might not just be about a struggle to maintain their Premier League status, but with a bit of gloss provided by a good run in this competition. They've never been beyond the quarterfinals of it before. If they win tonight, they will be in the quarterfinals. Reading make six changes from the weekend draw with Fulham, giving starts to the two scoring substitutes in that three-all draw, Gareth McCleary and Hal robson Canu. Adam Federici finally reclaims his place in goal after his dodgy start to the season and a knee injury. Noel Hunt returns after scoring in his last two appearances, but again, no Danny Guthrie in the 18. Arsenal changed their entire 11 from the win over Queen's Park Rangers. Six of the players are 21 and under. The junior member of the youthful side is German midfielder Serge Gnabry, who's just 17 and making his first start for the club. Emmanuel Frimpong continues his comeback from a serious cruciate injury, and there is a smattering of experience with the likes of Koscielny, Juru, Walcott, Shamak and Andre Arshavin. Olivier Giroud, who played on Saturday, is on the Arsenal bench. And although no one in their current squad has won a trophy with Arsenal, there is a player on the Reading bench who has. Goalkeeper Stuart Taylor played ten games in the Gunners' Premier League title win a decade ago. Four of those playing tonight were part of that uh, team that lost to Birmingham. Giroud, Koscielny, Arshavin, Shamak all played in that 2011 final, which happened, of course, just three months before Birmingham ended up being relegated. It's maybe the fear for Reading if they progress in this competition. But that might be the sting in the tail. Here's Nicky Shoring. Hunt. Robson Canu. Roberts! Terrific start for Reading! And it's the old war horse himself! Jason Roberts! Well, if you're a young striker and you want to know how to lose a defender, lose your marker to get on the end of a cross, take a look at this, because at 33 years old, he uses all his nows, Jason Roberts, and he gets his reward. And Jay Tab, as it does really well there, feeds the ball out wide, but watch Roberts, faints like he's going to go near, goes in behind Koscielny, and he's left in front of goal. It's a wonderful cross, but it's wonderful movement that gets Jason Roberts his opportunity, and he is not going to miss from there. It's an emphatic finish, and Reading have got the lead that Brian McDermott well, he would have been craving against his old club. Didn't he enjoy it? The first time that Brian McDermott has faced his old club, the third time that Jason Roberts has scored against Arsenal. Said it's left for Chris Gunter to take. He's worked it through well. Gunter tries to line it up, and it's gone in. It's an own goal. It's gone in off Lauren Koscielny. And Arsenal's despair compounded, but joy here for Reading, who lead them 2-0. Well, just like the first goal, they get in down the sides, they get in behind Arsenal, and they get into an area where they can put a real dangerous cross into the box. It's good, it's tight there, isn't it? But McCleary does well. Gunter finds space, and Koscielny, well... He's beyond the near post. He has to try and intercept it. And the only kind of contact that he can get that will send that ball in the net, he somehow manages to get. And that's really unfortunate for Damian Martinez in the goal, but I'm sure Brian McDermott doesn't care. The header. He still have managed to get it clear. Here's Ledgerwood. And he looks for another strike, a goal! 
got it in! This is unreal! Three up inside 20 minutes! Mikel Ledgerwood scores for the second game in a row. Martinez finding his shot too hot to handle. And despair for Arsene Wenger, whose team are being ripped to shreds. Well, they are. This is an absolute disaster for the young goalkeeper. Comes from a corner and it very much looks as if they've got that clear, but... Ah, it's sloppy. Shamak that gives the ball away. Legit Wood does really, really well here. But that should not be fine in the back of the net. You can see by the angle that the ball goes in, Martinez gets it all wrong. He's trying to palm it away to his left and somehow the ball squirms into his right. And this is not something that he will want to see in the future. It's a horrible mistake from the young goalkeeper. Urge to shoot again and after what happened last time might have been tempted, but instead finds McCleary. Hunt! In off the post! Reading a running riot! Arsenal are being annihilated here! Well, Arsene Wenger's not happy, he's with the fourth official, he just feels like there should have been a foul given Arsenal's way in the lead up to that goal. Shamak was the player in the middle of all that. He lost the previous challenge, but that there, maybe a little bit of a nudge in the back on Shamak, not given. And look what happens. Again, Reading worked the ball wide, and this is where they've been absolutely lethal. Noel Hunt, a player that I'm sure Arsenal don't probably know too much about, but if they do their homework, what they will know about Noel Hunt is just how very, very good in the air he is. One of the best headers of a ball that I've seen for a few years, and that is a wonderful header. An absolute wonderful header, but Arsene Wenger maybe has a case. Well, the fourth goal means that some Arsenal fans, we assume, have seen enough and are heading for home already. He's had, but little did we know what was to come. Little did he know. Here's our Shavin. And now the chance for Walcott to make an impact for Arsenal. And at last, something goes right for them, right near the end of the half. Could that be the start of an improbable comeback? It needs to be the spark, doesn't it? It really does. And this is what you want to see more of from Theo Walcott. Gets himself in between defenders, onside, and once he's away, they're not going to catch him. And this is what I think he doesn't maybe get the credit he deserves for sometimes in front of the goal stays calm and it's a really cool calculated finish dinks it over Federici tiny tiny glimmer of hope well it may be the eve of Halloween but this is Arsenal's fright night worst 45 minutes that many can remember I'm sure in the Arsene Wenger reign despair for the Arsenal defenders going off they were trailing by four goals to nil. Koscielny scored an own goal past his keeper, Damian Martinez. Arsenal were barely making an impact at the other end. Roberts, a Koscielny own goal, Ledger Wood and Noel Hunt put Reading 4-0 up as they took advantage of Arsenal's weaknesses. And only that goal from Walcott right near the end of the half, the half gave Arsenal any hope at all. Reading 4, Arsenal 1. With to get a 4 all draw, and of course last season they... No free kick given there for uh, Coquelin. He looks utterly bemused. Here's Robson Canu. Challenged by Jenkinson. Oh, Shavin. Shamak trying to slide it across. Wins the corner. Well, Time to play it early, but he had one target in the penalty area. No question, Arsenal have improved in the last ten minutes or so. Walcott's corner, Jiris header! And talk about an instant impact! Arsenal really are motoring now. Wow, this is a fantastic header. I mean, the, the, the corner is hit with such pace curling away from Giroud, but the way he redirects that pace, 
absolutely wonderful. Federici can't get across far enough to get enough on it to keep it out. That is a wonderful header. We've got a game on our hands here. Looked for a long, long time as if we hadn't, but as I said, Diving in with the challenge, which won the ball, but Ledger Wood having emerged with it, then goes down. The referee plays on. Shamak. Here's Theo Walcott trying to place one, and he's won a corner. <laughs> Reading just over a minute, plus stoppage time away from recording their first ever victory over Arsenal at the tenth attempt. scored against Arsenal, now scores for them, and Arsenal are three quarters of the way to a famous comeback. Well, again, Brian McDermott won't be happy with the defending. Kaspers Gorks, it is, challenges, runs under the ball, that leaves Koscielny with a free header, not going to miss from there. And I just wonder, I wonder, I think the all-important thing now is what is that board that's going to be held up any second by the fourth official going to say of any kind of ideas any kind of sharpness any kind of fight in the first half but he really made a fist of it ball back from church gunter nice well, can let that go in the hope that arsenal can launch something he's hoping they don't Worried face of Arsene Wenger. Still the referee lets it go on. And here's Long Koscielny. Since the World Cup run and chance, I think have done well. They've kept Arsenal away from the danger area. Well, we're beyond the four minutes indicated. But the indications are that Arsenal might get the opportunity to launch one last assault on the Reading goal. Coquelin gets the ball in towards Marouane, Shamak headed down, Walcott with a chance! And is it over? Yeah, that's over. It is now! It's been turned in in the end by Jenkinson to make absolutely sure. And Arsenal have done it! From 4-0 down, they've drawn a level right at the death! Well, when I looked at the assistant referee, I'm sure I saw daylight between the first effort he did not raise his flag. I was astounded. It doesn't matter now. It doesn't matter now. But long hopeful ball. Knocked down. Walcott. That's well over. The assistant referee, unobstructed view, has got to see that. It doesn't matter now, but it could have mattered. That is the big thing. I mean, you've got to see that from where you're standing. Jenkinson follows up. There's a handball in there to boot. Reading don't like it because they feel 90, nearly 96 minutes been played. Time should have been up. Well, Jenkinson's goal has stopped a potential controversy there because had he not followed it up, then maybe the goal wouldn't have counted. Jason Roberts, who were 4 0 down with the very last kick of the game here, earning extra time by drawing it back to 4 all after a comeback. Miguel. Shamak just dragging it through for Olivier Giroud. Here's Arshavin. Marouane Shamak goes for goal and does it! Arsenal, who were 4 0 down, lead for the first time, and it's the forgotten man, Marouane Shamak, who has his name up in lights. Oh, looking down at Brian McDermott, poor Brian McDermott. Just pacing around his technical area. Cannot believe what he's seen. Lovely build up play. Shamak it was that flicked that ball to Juru and carried on. Our oh, Shamin gets it back to Shamak. And how often do you see it? When a shot goes through a defender's legs, goalkeeper unsighted, late reacting. It's in the corner. And Shamak has given his team the lead. And it has this been one of the most remarkable comebacks of all time because it's been a sensational game. Doesn't he just love it? 
got enough about them if they can get the ball in the right areas. Here is Robson Canner. Makanov was in there waiting, but it's gone all the way across to Gunter. And the hit is in from Pogrebniak. Absolutely astonishing. Well, Arsenal arms are in the air. They want offside. They really want offside. They're not going to get it. Marassi were deep cross. Arsenal just let it go all the way to the back post. And as that is struck, well, maybe level. And of course, all that the assistant referee can see is Lauren Koscielny's red shirt. You can't see the two blue shirts behind him. And Pogrebniak following in is the simplest of headers. And it's game on again. How many more? Shifts and changes are we going to see? Quite remarkable. Well, Reading. Reading pouring forward. Four to the left of the fullback here. And Martinez can pick that up in relative comfort. Again, there'll be a question of stoppage time and whether it can be won before penalties. Ledger will try to make that argument academic. Koscielny, though, is in the way. Oh, he's gone as well. Koscielny, look, charging forward. And it's Arshavin, there'll be two minutes of stoppage time. Man in the box if he can get it across, and he has it off the line. Shots on follow-up, and it's turned in. And surely this time, Theo Walcott has won it. 11 goals on a mad night at the Medeski Stadium. And Arsenal having seemingly been down and out once, then packed back again by Reading, have surely hit now for the last time. Well, this is about desire, it's about drive, it's about determination, and Lauren Koscielny is the player who starts this off. He's in the middle of your picture there, the centre-half. He's busting a gut, as have three, four other Arsenal players to break there, break quickly, and they are punished. And did we say Arshavin may have the last laugh? I think he has. It may have been a goal for Walcott, but Andre Arshavin has torn Reading to pieces for just the one time that was necessary, and Walcott... I think he's just scored the winning goal. What an amazing, amazing game. And even Arsene Wenger, well, he must be stunned by what he's seen here tonight. He must be. Well, Arsene Wenger won't take too much pleasure from the defending, but he will from the spirit his team have shown in adversity. Theo Walcott can claim the hat-trick. But can Arsenal claim the victory? He still wouldn't be too sure. Arsene Wenger not happy because his goalkeeper has given the ball back to Reading, basically. Will they pay for that? Gorks wins the header. Can't find a teammate. Cleared by Walcott. And a missed header gives Shamak a chance to seal it once and for all for Arsenal here. And he has! So ends one of the most remarkable moments in League Cup history as Arsenal claim a seventh. Arsene Wenger heads for the quarter-finals of this competition and he will wonder, and many others will wonder, how they've got there. Well, pure and simply, absolute and utter drive, determination, character. It is a shame that such a game needed to be clinched on a mistake, a defensive mistake, but Shamak really punishes Chris Gunter. That's a calm calculated finish and what started out as a dream in heaven has turned into a nightmare you have to feel for Brian McDermott here is Ledgerworth one of the most remarkable nights in the history of this competition. Arsenal through to the quarter-finals of the League Cup, but only after being 4-0 down and only after one heck of a struggle here with Reading, a Theo Walcott hat-trick in the end, helping to get them through with the help of a second goal from Marouane Shamak to clinch it right at the death. But Reading, who were 4-0 up in the first half, will wonder how on earth this game slipped away the likes of Robertson, own goal from Koscielny, Ledgerwood and Hunt. Put them 4-0 up. Arsenal fought back to 
Then Shamak thought he'd won it in extra time only for Rebniak to strike back at five all. And Arsenal then hit two more to leave these Reading players looking absolutely bemused. Not the best preparation for them going into that bottom of the table clash against Queen's Park Rangers. A long night and ultimately a really deflating night for Queen's Park, for, uh, for uh, Reading yeah. ahead of that QPR game, Don. Oh, it's just been the most amazing night I've seen, I have to say. Just looked like a walk in the park for Reading for the first 44 minutes or so. I mean, they must have had a right go. Arsene Wenger would have had a right go at them. And even he could not possibly have seen what we've seen tonight. Shirts in the crowd, and threw them in well before time. You can keep that now. There have been penalty claims, there have been probable red cards that haven't been issued. There's been added time at the end of the 90, which proved absolutely crucial. We have had everything you could want of a cup tie. This would grace any cup competition in world football. It's been amazing, loved it. Well, I'll show you what an epic achievement this is from Arsenal. First time in their long and distinguished history that they've conceded five goals in a match and yet won the game. They've done it in part thanks to Theo Walcott, who claims the match ball as a result of his hat-trick heroics. Well, to analyse this in depth, we might be here until tomorrow morning. It has been an absolutely astonishing night that has finished Reading 5, Arsenal 7. Rob, Don, thank you so much. Niles just went over and said, Ben, we're not going to forget this one. What a night. Uh, just, just absolutely incredible. I had the privilege to be here tonight. That's about the best thing I can say about this. It was, it was from the moment it started to the moment it finished, it was the most extraordinary game I have seen possibly since, since I started this professional team many years ago. It was extraordinary. And you have to feel for the Reading fans and the Reading players who put in such a phenomenal first half performance, then came back yeah. into the game. But yeah, now they'll go home and say, how did that happen? You know, how did we score five? How were we involved in such a game? And how was it robbed from us near the end? It was just extraordinary. But they can take great credit from taking part and playing a part yeah. in one of the greatest games ever. You can hear the music in the background. That's life, and it certainly is. Life turns to the Premier League. We get a bit of a breather, maybe. Manchester United take on Arsenal. They're back in action on Saturday. At Old Trafford midday, you get that one in 3D. Goodness me. Well, we're going to take a few minutes, get our breath back, and try and put together what has been a remarkable eve of Halloween. That man there with a hat trick on the evening. Arsenal have run out winners and a 12-goal thriller.